Good evening, I'm Monty Hall. The pilot you're about to see is entitled The Big Money. We are attempting to show you a typical half hour as it will be presented live over the NBC network. Therefore, we have taken certain liberties in the taping of this pilot. We are pretending that we are approximately seven or eight weeks into the series, and you will see on this pilot activities from a previous week that, of course, have never actually happened. With the understanding that this is merely a demonstration of the series and not an actual program for air, we invite you to enjoy the big money. The following program is brought to you in living color on NBC. Tonight, this acts could be worth $25,000 to Virginia Mitchum. This rifle could be worth $12,500 to Drill Sergeant Jerry Crowder. This hammer could be worth $50,000 to Mr. Al Friend. This putter could start Ken Venturi toward the biggest cash prize in the history of golf on the big money. Live from Hollywood, now here's the host of our show, Monty Hall. Thank you very much. Good evening and welcome to the exciting new television show that affords people with ordinary and extraordinary talents the chance to win up to $50,000. Now, John Harlan, who is our first contestant? Monty, it's our housewife and school janitress from Tootle, Washington, who's already won $12,500. The woman whose lumberjack husband taught her the extraordinary talent of throwing a woodman's ax, Mrs. Virginia Mitchum. First of all, I'd like to welcome you back to the show, Virginia, but I must say that we haven't been able to believe what we've seen with our very own eyes in the past few weeks. Why don't you tell us how and when you got started throwing an axe? Well, about three years ago, my husband taught. That's all, just a few years ago, huh? Three years. Do you uh, compete in tournaments? Yes, I do. Mostly with men, though. Women don't take it up too much. I can. <laughs> now, they, they stick to the rolling pin pretty well, don't they? <laughs> and I understand that you've beaten quite a few men in these tournaments, too. A few. It's interesting to know also, Virginia, that you uh, act as the school janitress back there at uh, Tootle Lake, Washington, and mm -hmm. I wonder if the kids are watching you today. Oh, yes. <laughs> and cheering for you, too. I hope so. Well, you know, that axe won you $12,500 last week, and I'd like to give the audience a videotape look at that performance of yours. So let's watch it together, shall we? Okay. Now, last week you had three throws to cut a one-eighth inch rope from 20 feet for $12,500. And you, as you can see, missed the first throw right there. Not by much. We're getting ready now for your second throw. I'm handing you the ax and getting out of your way. Here it comes. And that did it. <laughs> Now, before you left last week, we gave you an envelope containing a full description of this week's $25,000 step. And John Harlan, please read that description for us. Virginia Mitchum, for $25,000, you must hit a two-foot bullseye from a distance of 40 feet. You will be allowed three attempts. Boy, that's a long way, isn't it? <laughs> Last week, you were half the distance away, just 20 feet away, and we've measured off another 20 feet over here, and that target is a long way off, Virginia. Now, you've had a week to practice. How well did you do? Oh, about 50 out of 100, I think. About 50 out of 100. Well, <laughs> that sounds promising. However, tonight, you'll be risking your $12,500 if you decide to continue. 
As I said, that target is a long way off, and that axe is pretty... How heavy is the axe? Two and a half pounds. Two and a half pounds. Throwing that, that distance alone is quite a feat without having to hit a bullseye. But the decision is yours. What do you say, Virginia? Will you try for $25,000? Oh, yes. You're going to do it. All right. Thank you very much. Now, Virginia, we've sharpened it up for you. It's in good shape. I hope you are too. You will have three opportunities to hit that bullseye. All you have to do is hit it once. So if you're ready, take as long as you need to to get comfortable and then hurl it. the audience is applauding, that isn't going to do you too much good, Virginia, because you did miss by about four or five inches. Do you want to dry your hands a little? Just four or five inches to the right, and you'll be in the big money. And now, if you're ready, here comes your next attempt, okay? Here's your mark. amazed by that dexterity. I don't think I could throw the axe this far, let alone hit this small bullseye, and you have done it, and done it beautifully. And that, of course, was worth $25,000 to you. That must be exciting. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, now, Nancy, can we have the $50,000 envelope, please? I'll give you an axe in exchange. Virginia, this is the $50,000 step. In it is the description of what we're going to ask you to do. Take it home, practice it, Think about it, and then come back next week and tell us if you wish to risk your $25,000 and try for the big money's top prize of $50,000. See you next week. Virginia, thank you very much. We'll meet one of golf's greatest stars, Mr. Ken Venturi, after these important words. Gentlemen, last year's national open champion and one of the truly great golfers of all time, Mr. Ken Venturi. Well, first of all, Ken, I would like to uh, welcome you here to the program and say a few words about you before I tell you about your big money feat. And uh, the first thing I'd like to say is that Ken, of course, was Sports Illustrated's Athlete of the Year, the Sportsman of the Year in 1964 when he won the National Open, and it reached the zenith of his career. And then in 65, something happened to you, Ken. Would you tell us about that? Well, I had a little hand trouble, but it's all over now. 65 is all gone, finished. It, it's all gone, and with it, the hand trouble that you had that didn't let you participate. But now we have 1966. You've played in your first tournament, the Los Angeles Open. You did a great comeback job, and I think this will be the comeback story of the year. We hope so. I hope so. Thank you, man. You're quite welcome. Well, Ken, it's, it's time for your first event. When a new contestant joins us to start his climb towards the big money of $50,000, he must pass two steps on his first appearance. If he completes both steps successfully, he has won himself $1,500. If he misses either step, of course, he's knocked off the program. It's like you missing the cut in a golf tournament. And that happens often. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'd like to show the audience what your first step is, Ken. Okay. It's a very simple one. <laughs> we have... Uh, taped off a little area here, seven feet from the cup. And I think that we were deliberate in choosing seven feet because that's just about the distance that gives you the willies in championship play, isn't it? That's called, that's called a character tester. <laughs> that separates the men from the money. That's, that's... <laughs> quickly, quickly. Well, now, I don't know how you do when you play in tournaments, but you do miss your share, I'm sure. I picked these up. <laughs> yeah, there are no gimmies here. You're no. going to have to sink. 
three out of three from seven feet. It's quite easy. I'll show you how it's done, just like that. <laughs> but I don't get paid for this. You do. So now, if you're ready, I'll back off and let you take as much time as you want, but you have to get three out of three from seven feet. the third. You won't give me this. <laughs> did it, Ken. I must say that I wasn't breathing at all during that last one. <laughs> but that's your first step for $750. Caddy? And a pretty caddy, you must admit. Never had one like that. <laughs> you can remove the putters right now because Ken and I are going to move over into the rough. And this is going to be a real rough step for you for $1,500, Ken. Your pitching wedge is waiting for you. There are three balls <coughs> here in the rough. And I want the audience to know that that is very rough grass that we have here. And Ken is going to have to pitch his ball over the high impediment there, the high straw grass, to a six-foot circle that we have outlined on the green. That's a very difficult shot. He'll have to put one of them inside that six-foot circle to earn his $1,500. Are you ready, Ken? I'm About 45 feet is the distance. There's the first shot, and it's rolling in the circle, and just out! <laughs> Ken, you weren't more than two inches long on that one. Here comes your second one. Oh, that goes close. This is for $1,500, the second shot. It's rolling into the circle, and he's got it! Well, that was kind of exciting, Ken. The first one just missed by a couple of inches, and I wonder whether that rattled you or not. Well, I, uh... <laughs> I like to get it that close from that far every time. Oh, well, that's a pretty good <laughs> gimme shot right there from 45 feet. Well, that's $1,500, and now, Nancy, may I have the $3,000 envelope, please? Thank you. In here, Ken, is the $3,000 step. We've got the shot all outlined here that we're going to ask you to make next week for $3,000, and I want you to take it home, practice it all you want, and then come back next week and tell us if you wish to continue on toward the big money of $50,000. Thank you, Mike. See you then, Ken. Thank you very much. And now, John Harlan, who is our next big money contestant? Monty, back for his $50,000 decision. It's our carpenter from Simi Valley, California, the man with magic in his hands, Mr. Al Friend. <laughs> nice to have you back with us again, Al. Nice you, to be back. You've become quite a performer here on The Big Money. Well, I practice all the time. Now, before we show the audience what we're going to ask you to do to win $50,000 tonight, I'd like to show those who might have missed it last week what you did to win the $25,000 that is now yours to keep if you wish. All right? Fine. All right, here is Al Friend's $25,000 step. You will notice that we have this board here and Al's got hammer in hand. He has seven shots to sink five nails. The first one took two. The second nail also took two. He had one stroke apiece for the next three nails. It was one, it was Two, and with one stroke, he won himself $25,000. <laughs> Boy, 
I never saw so much money riding on just one chop of that hammer, and you had to make it. There was no room for error. It still scares me. <laughs> well, Al, that looked uh, pretty easy when we saw it on the tape. Mm. But now we're going to show the audience your $50,000 step. John Harlan, please. This is the description of the $50,000 event that was in Al Friend's envelope. Al, for $25,000, we ask you to drive five nails into a four by four block of Douglas fir within seven strokes. For $50,000, we want you to do exactly the same thing. Now, last week we handed you the envelope, and of course you must have been surprised when you opened it to learn that we wanted you to just duplicate your feet of last week. However, you're risking an awful lot of money in doing so. When you worked it over for $25,000, that was well and good, but we will pay you 50000 if you can do it again this evening. Now, if you can't, you lose everything except your consolation prize. Now, you've had that week to think about it. You've had that week to practice. Now it's time for you to tell us, will you go for the $50,000 or will you stop? I was pretty lucky last week. I think I'll quit. That's all right, Al. Here is a check made out to Al Friend for $25,000 from the big money. It's yours to keep, to hold, to do whatever you want to do with it. And congratulations to a great carpenter from Simi Valley. There you are. We'll meet our final contestant after this message. All contestants on the big money who pass the $6,000 step and subsequently lose will receive a consolation prize, the 1966 Oldsmobile Toronado, a new kind of car engineered by Oldsmobile. And now, Drill Sergeant Jerry Crowder, front and center. Sergeant Crowder, it's a pleasure to welcome you back again to the big money. Thank you. I would like to say again for the folks who haven't seen our previous program that we had a great deal of trouble sorting out just who is going to take the place right here on stage for the big money from Fort Ord. We went down to Fort Ord and we found three outstanding drill sergeants and they made the decision themselves as to which one of them would represent them here on the big money and they've decided that no matter who did it, they would all share equally in the proceeds. And so they have elected among themselves this handsome young man, Sergeant Crowder, who has already won $6,000. Now, Sergeant Crowder, it's time to show the audience what we've asked you to do to win $12,500. And to do that, we are going to run the videotape right now of the $6,000 step that you passed last week. You had to field strip and reassemble your M14 rifle against the clock. You had 60 seconds in which to do it. There were seven parts to uh, take apart here, and field strip, and then of course, put them back together again. And here you are in action. Now you're reassembling the M14. The clock shows 25 seconds and you're putting in that very rigid spring. That's a tough part, isn't it? Yes, it is. 19 seconds to go, still a couple of pieces the stock coming on now and then of course the firing mechanism with 12 seconds 11 10 9 and 8 seconds and you did it well that's it you uh, field stripped and reassembled the m14 in less than 60 seconds to win yourself six thousand dollars now this week for twelve thousand five hundred dollars we're going to give you 90 seconds to do exactly the same thing with one exception. And what was that exception, Sergeant? I have to do it blindfolded. <laughs> yes, that's, uh, that's quite a bit different, isn't it? Now, I know that you and your buddies have been practicing this step all week. What kind of success have you had? Uh, well, I've improved some of the past week. Well, you've had enough practice, I'm <laughs> sure. Did you do it against the clock very well all the time? Sometimes, not all Oh, time. sometimes. Well, um, I know that uh, Drill Sergeant Bob Jackson and Drill Sergeant Roy Chandler are here with you today, and uh, it's up to them to make the decision. What have you fellas decided? Go. <laughs> they say go. All right.
Well, Sergeant, your buddies say go, so now it's all up to you. You already have earned $6,000, and now for $12,500, first of all, can we have his M14? Thank you very much. We'll place it right down here. This is quite a sturdy weapon in itself. We have a shell on the side, and I'll explain that in just a moment. Now, as I said, you're going to have 90 seconds in which to do this blindfolded, and here comes the blindfold now. You're going to let a young lady pull the wool over your eyes. <laughs> I just want to make sure that it's on straight. Do you mind if I take a little look at it there? Now, I guess it's all right. Now, just rope here for the, uh, for the rifle. I'm going to give you a starting signal in just a moment. I want to explain that when you put this together and reassemble it, I will give you a shell, and you will have completed this successfully if the shell fires. You have 90 seconds. Your hand's dry enough. Are you ready to go? Ready. We set the clock, and we start. As I told you last week, there are seven parts to be stripped from this weapon. He has four of them off right now. This, of course, will be the easy part for the sergeant. Five, six, and seven. Now he is starting to reassemble the M14. Not only does he have to put them back, but he has to find them on the table, blindfolded, and remember where he put them. All by remembering what to do with each piece. Here comes that very difficult part very taut spring in this race against the clock. He's got that part. That was a tough one. Now he's got two more pieces to go. The stock is going to be put on first. Has he got it? Can't seem to find the place. Now he's got it. Now the firing mechanism. The mechanism comes next. He's got the time. He says he's due. Take your blindfold off now. You have reassembled this M14 in just 56 seconds with 34 seconds to spare, so that part of it is all right. But now comes the moment of truth. If you made any mistake along the way, it will not fire when you cock it. So here is the shell. Put it inside, cock your rifle, and fire. If it fires, you will have $12,500. I think I know three very happy lads from Fort Ord right now. Uh, this gentleman right over here and the two boys who placed their faith in him. And uh, they have a total of $12,500. And now, Nancy, may I please have the $25,000 envelope? Thank you very much. Inside here, Sergeant, is the one that you three boys are going to take back home with you, home being Fort Ord. And uh, we welcome you to open it, read it, try it, work on it, and then come back and tell us if it's too tough or if you're going to try for the $25,000. Would you do that? Yes, sir. See you next week. Here's the envelope, here is your rifle, and good luck to you. Thank you, sir. Well, that's it for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you seven nights from this evening, live when more people with ordinary and extraordinary talent will be here to try for the big money. This is Monty Hall saying good night, everybody. Thank you. The Big Money is a Ralph Andrews, Bill Yegeman production. Next week, starting at five for the big money, we will welcome Chrissy Smithhaven, flown here from the outback of Australia, whose skill with a boomerang may take him to fifty thousand dollars. The authority for all sporting events provided on the big money is by the world-renowned A.G. Spalding and Brothers Incorporated, the world's largest exclusive sporting goods manufacturer.